Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I did this look right here. Um, it is inspired by JLo, the look that she had at the Tony Awards. I absolutely loved how her makeup was done. She looked absolutely stunning as usual. Also, this is my first talk through tutorial. Um, I am the worst at explaining things, so please bear with me. I promise I'll get better. Um, I just thought I'd do something different, you know. I've got a lot of requests to talk through during my tutorial. Um, so that's what I'm doing right here. So uh, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to do that. And like this video if you want to see more talk through tutorials. Um, let's get started. I'm just using the paint pot in soft ochre. It's my favorite one. Um, and I just use it with a P84 Sigma Precision Angled Brush. I've got a bit of um, like eyelash glue that I can't get off my eye, so I'm just gonna go over that, just cover that up. And this is really good to cover all the dark circles and the veins and all the discoloration in your eye. I'm going to take this colour, Substitute for Love, and I'm going to put that all in the crease. M441 Morphe brush. And I'm just going to spill that product in, tap it off, and just like go crazy in the crease with it. This is just going to act as a um, transition shade. So you want this really, really blended out, not um, no harsh lines whatsoever. I'm sorry, it's really hard to talk and do this. I'm not used to it, but I'll get there. I'm gonna go into the color Warm Notes, this one here, and I'm gonna use that and blend that out into the crease as well, just with the same brush the um, Morphe M441. I'm going to use this colour here, that one, maybe mix in those two together and just pat it on the lid. Just pat that on there, pat a corner. I'm just blending that out with the same Morphe brush that I used before. Taking Subtle Blend and I'm just going to pat this on the eye with a E60 shader brush from Sigma just with pure ganache, this one right here and a Zoeva 224 Luxe Defined Crease Brush I'm just going to swirl my brush into that and just um, apply it here because in that look, JLo has a really highlighted um, inner corner and it is quite gold. I'm just going to lightly get rid of the eyeshadow. Don't worry about this, it will blend into the foundation and concealer. Just want to get rid of fallout. So I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. So I've just applied a bit of foundation to my purple palette. Woo. And I'm just using a foundation brush from Sigma. And I'm just gonna, you know how I do this guys, but I guess this is a talk through video. I'm just going to Apply this to the face, how I always do. Don't worry about the colour. It matches my neck. Alright, so just with a damp beauty blender, I'm going to press it into the skin. I didn't mention the colour that I'm using. I am using six. Yeah, six. 
I forgot to mention that I used this Total Madness by Philosophy. I'm using the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer and this is the colour 6 as well. I'm not sure what it's called but it is 6. This concealer is waterproof and it is really long lasting so I love that. I love it. The concealer brush I'm using is F75 by Sigma and I just apply that the same way as foundation with a brush and then I'll blend it out with the beauty blender. This is a damp beauty blender as well by the way if I didn't mention that before I can't remember and it helps it blend out really well. I'm just using the MAC Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder. I think I always call it translucent, but it is transparent. Just pat it onto the skin. I'm going really thick here, but I am going to pat it out. Why I'm doing this is because I want it the most coverage to be here. So to fill in my brows, I always use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in medium brown and I use Zoeva's brow line brush which is number 322. I just like to create the shape and then fill the rest in. So I usually draw the line on the top and the bottom. What I've been doing as of late is using the brow wiz, same colour, medium brown and just lightly filling the front in. I just feel like it's less harsh than the dip brow, especially if um, you're quite heavy handed. Now I'm just going to dust that excess powder off. It's making me look super white. JLo isn't super um, contoured in the photo but I'm still going to contour my face. You know, I'm just doing an inspiration photo. I mean, I'm just using this as inspiration, not fully going for her look, but I'm making it my own, you know. So I'm going to just contour with the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, um, the middle one middle shade which is on and I'm just lightly creating a bit of definition under the cheekbone. I'm using the small contour brush by Sigma in F05. In F05 I meant number F05. Also just going to take that around the forehead, also under the jaw. This is called Java, I knew it was Java. Anyways, I'm going to layer that on top of the greyish shadow that we just created. I'm using the same F05 brush from Sigma. And I'm just lightly starting from that contour line and flicking it up so it creates a gradient effect. Do the same on the forehead. Alright, taking a MAC 217 brush, lightly going down the sides of the nose to create a bit of definition. Mm, 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 love it. In my last video I used um, this highlighter from Colourpop. It's called Lunch Money and it is just the most gorgeous, gorgeous colour. 105 brush from Zoeva. 
it's their bamboo collection and I just swirl it in the product I'm just gonna apply that here to the cheekbone I apply it on top of the eyebrows because it just makes your face look so much more luminous and then I just put it on the tip of my nose as well and then just a tiny bit here I'm just gonna put that under the brow bone to finish off the eyes I'm just going back into the Zoeva palette and I'm gonna take warm notes again and I'm using the Defined Crease Brush by Zoeva 224 and I'm just gonna apply that under the eye making sure to wing that out also connect it with the top just taking that subtle blend color this one right here just on the outer corners I'm taking this highlighter duo from Sigma highlighting pencil the matte side for mascara you know what I'm going to use I use the version by Urban Decay I'm just giving my lashes a light coat For lashes, I'm just using the usual Velour lashes These are Whispy Me Away mm, 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 mm. Um, I love these lashes, they are just so fluttery So I just take the lash and the glue that I use is the House of Lashes glue It's probably my favourite lash glue How I apply them is I look down at a mirror And I just literally apply them like that Then I push the lash band as far down as it can go Then what I like to do is push, I mean press my lashes and the false lashes together. What I like to do next is just draw the tiniest little line on the inner corner and I'm using the precise eyeliner marker from Galactic. For blush, I'm just using the Zoeva 129 Fan Brush and this blush from Attica Cosmetics and I'm just using the fan brush. The blush is called Beatrice and I'm just lightly dusting it onto the cheek. For lips, I'm using Colourpop's Lip Liner and Lippy Stick in Burchette. Burchette. Burchette.
It actually looks much more red in camera than it does in real life. I'm just going to add a bit of Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the vamp. I'm just going to dab that on. That's better. 